Hello and welcome to the WB Mason Coach Report with Hofstra Baseball Coach John Russo. Coach, welcome to the show. Thanks a lot for having me. Uh, let's go look at last weekend. Weather forces you to uh, move some games around. End up scheduling Albany down in Virginia to escape the cold weather here in the snow. So you travel to Salem, Virginia, you play three games against Albany. Unfortunately, you come up on the short end of all three games. Three close games, though, a 7-6 loss, a 4-3 loss, and then a 3-1 loss. Just your overall thoughts on, on the series and, and how close it was and what you know what you thought could happen to uh, correct things. Well, first and foremost, like we did have to, to reschedule it towards Roanoke and um, you know, that's asking a lot of student athletes. You know, we were not planning on uh, going there. We were planning on being home. We were supposed to have a home game Wednesday, a home game Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know, also the time a little bit to rest up before getting conference and here we are at the last minute, uh, you know, getting them a game. We travel eight hours down on Friday, you know, doubleheader Saturday, single Sunday, and you know, it's just a lot. We we've traveled a lot, done a lot, and um, but my thoughts as a coach was let's get them prepared. Playing games is better than practicing in the PFC. We had to keep the pitching on track with Silas Rooney and Marrero, uh, you know, building up their pitch count. So for the greater good, we had to do it. Um, but it was just a, a tiring experience, and then. You know, played an Albany team that hadn't played the weekend before, hadn't played the week, was really fired up uh, for the series, played really well, uh, you know, win game one with um, by a run, you know, win game two by a walk-off, and then played really well. And I, I thought the whole weekend Albany played, you know, really clean, hitting, pitching, and uh, fielding. Um, I thought we played well. You know, I'm not upset with how we performed. We just lost, uh, you know, three close games to a good team right now. Now, the close games, you know, teams had trouble with those one-run, two-run games, you know, over the last couple of seasons. You know, what, as a coach, you know, what can you point your finger on and say, you know, we need to do this better to, you know, come on the, on the winning end of those games? You know, there's two sides of it for me. Is um, obviously the offensive side. We need to um, we need to function a little bit better in, um, you know, run scoring spots. Uh, uh, you know, the small ball game. But, you know, get stuff done when we need to drive a run in when he's on third base and less than uh, two outs. And in close games, we're not doing that as well as we're doing it in other games. And on the mound, you know, uh, losing Andrew Monday this week, uh, you know, our best reliever, being short another reliever has asked guys to step up in some roles. And, you know, guys will come into a game, um, you know, not expecting or expecting a little bit lead, but not holding it to that run, giving up one or two, and then we lose or make a comeback and fall one short. They're not understanding the importance of their one inning to get three outs and uh, how everyone counts right now. I think as a group, we're all learning. I think um, uh, you know we're getting better and uh, hopefully ready for college trials. Now, yesterday you play at NYIT uh, and you come on the on the winning end of a one-run game, six-five. Stephen Foster with a two-run home run in the top of the eighth inning that gives you the lead. Uh, just talk about that game and especially Steven's performance and also John Ryan who gave you three perfect innings out of the bullpen, you know, to close out that game. Um, to say we needed that win would be an understatement. To say we needed a win in a one-run game would be an understatement. Uh, we needed all of it. And, um, you know, I thought Steven's uh, two-run homer there in the top of the eighth inning with two outs. We had nothing going. Roush gets hit. Uh, Steven takes a 2-0 pitch and delivers a homer to put us up is what we need. And then more importantly, John Ryan, you know, a freshman who we think has been pitching outstanding um, and really stepped up so far this year, you know, has a clean eighth and then a clean ninth and gets helped out in the ninth inning by a great uh, defensive play by David Lederman that I thought went a little unnoticed, that it was an incredible play to start the inning that stopped the leadoff man from being on. And that's what we've been doing a little bit poorly up until this is, you know, making that play, making... Uh, usually that's been a hit, and then they're bunting a guy over, and then blooping in a hit, or we're seeing, and we functionally played really well yesterday, and, um, you know, it was a positive. We, we beat two really good pitchers, you know. We didn't go there on a Tuesday afternoon expecting to see their uh, Friday night guy and a Saturday guy, but truthfully it helped us a little bit more on a CAA play. Um, we went uh, seven innings against the kid throwing 90-93, uh, only struck out twice in seven innings. Uh, kid that came in was 91. Uh, you know, could the two runs ahead of him. So structurally, it helped our offense a lot to face good pitching and a good team like that right before, you know, Charleston. That leads us to this weekend, the opening of Colonial Athletic Association play down at College of Charleston. Big sweep against Charleston last year here at home. 
when they were, you know, leading the conference and ranked in the top 20 in the RPI. Going down there this year, I'm sure there's going to be, you know, a lot of, they're going to be fired up to play. We're going to be fired up to play them. You know, how does it shape up for this weekend? You know, uh, I think this College Charleston's one of the best teams in the CAA year in, year out, no matter what they've done in the preseason, because they play such a tough schedule going in uh, to, the, to the conference play. So they're definitely going to be ready. The fact that we did sweep them last year is going to have them even more prepared uh, for us. But like you said, it's opening weekend for both teams. The one good thing is there'll be excitement on both sides of it. Um, love the Friday night uh, aspect of the CAA. Love the two games on Saturday, Sunday. Um, you know, I think our pitching, our offense is ready. Um, I think defensively we're playing much better than what we had early in the year. Positive that College of Charleston is going to be a really good team. Uh, at home, they're really tough to beat. Um, but, you know, that's what CAA play is, and we're excited to start CAA play. We're ready, I think, and prepared. I think Charleston will be prepared. I think it'll be one, two runs either way uh, in some of the games. And so, you know, hopefully we know and learn how to play and win in those games. All right, well, Coach, good luck this weekend, and thanks for your time today. Thank you, Len. You've been watching the WB Mason Coaches Report on GoHofstra.com.